Well, this video is to demonstrate how to move an object in Unity using a rigidbody dot velocity functionality. This is most useful for when you want an immediate change in velocity for an object. So to start out, I'm going to set up a very basic scene in Unity by creating a cube and flattening it out. I'll set the position to 0, 0, 0, and then scale 20, 0.1, and 20. I have a flat surface. I'll actually even add a material to it. And then I'll create a 3D object and a sphere, which will be the object to be moved. So I'm actually going to call the blue arrow forward, since that's where the camera and object are both facing forward right now. Actually add a material to that as well and then I need to add a component at a rigid body and then I need to create a C sharp script that will be attached to this object I actually already created one I'll open that up delete the comments and I add two variables at the top a rigid body called RB and public int speed and just set that to 5 in the start function I'm going to set RB equals get component rigid body. And that gets the objects rigid body components. I'll actually add that as a comment. Then in the update function, sorry, in the update function, I'm going to write a comment velocity equals speed times direction, meaning that rb.velocity could equal the speed value that we set times transform.forward, which is a direction. But I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to set rb.velocity equals a new vector 3, and then in the x value put input.getaccess horizontal. 0 for the y, and then input.getaccess vertical for the z value. So I can actually save that, go back to Unity, go to Edit, Project Settings, Input Manager, and then you can see horizontal and vertical represent the WASD and arrow keys. So that's where I'm getting that from. So now we're going to say if input dot get key key code dot space. If you hit the space key, we're going to jump. So I'll have the object jump. So rb dot velocity equals new vector three, zero for the x, five for the y, zero for the z. Similar fashion, we say in, if input dot get key get key code dot left shift. And we'll sprint. So rb.velocity times equals, let's say, 5. And that should be everything. I'm going to save that, change it from update to fix update, and actually resave. That's the one thing I forgot to do. Go back to Unity. Before I click play, I actually need to drag the script onto the sphere. I can set the speed from the inspector, I'll just keep it at 5, hit play. And now when I use the WASD keys, hold shift, I start sprinting. And then I can also use space to jump, and I'm actually floating back down very gently. And that's it.